Hey everyone, I'm Tech Steve, and welcome to episode three of Learning Your Google Home Devices. In today's video, we're gonna talk about the free music services that are available for your Google Home device. Now, keep in mind, the fact that it's free, you're not gonna have full control the way you want it. You're not gonna be able to choose every artist, every song, or playlist that you created in the application or the websites. It's gonna allow you to create a radio station and play some music similar to that. So keep that in mind when you hear the word free. Now, I know Spotify is around $10, YouTube Music is around $10, so if that's something that's worth it to you, you should sign into those services and pay for it if you wanna get the full access. With that being said, sit back and relax, and let's get started. Open up your Google Home app and I'm assuming that you have it all set up from episode one. Press on settings, scroll down to the bottom until you see music. Go ahead and press on it. So here's a list of the music services and if you scroll down, there's Deezer at the bottom. One thing I want to point out, when you give the Google Home command, whatever that little checkbox is beside is gonna be the default music player that it's gonna choose. For example, if I choose YouTube Music, you can see at the bottom, YouTube Music is the default. If I press Spotify, Spotify is default as you can see at the bottom. The first service we have is YouTube Music and it's not necessary to actually sign up for an account unless you want to. You can simply use the Gmail account that's in your device. On a free service, it's gonna have commercials and it won't let you choose all the artists that you want directly. But for $10, you can sign up for the premium version and then you can choose any playlist and make everything custom the way you like it. Next, we have Google Play Music. Now, the biggest difference between Google Play Music and YouTube Music is that Google Play Music is a service that if using their website, you can upload up to 50,000 songs to it. And this app, just like any other Google service, allows you to use your Gmail account to log into the account. I'm not saying that Google Play Music is gonna get phased out, and it was built to compete with the original iTunes. If you upload your own songs, you're not gonna be able to play them on Google Home Assistant, mainly for the fact that copyright reasons. So keep that in mind if you decide to use this service or you had it before and you wanna see if you can play your music on the Google Home. Next, we have Pandora, which is probably the most used streaming service out there, but you need to link it to your account because it's not connected to the Google account. Once you clicked on Pandora, you need to go and put in your username and password so you can get access to play it on your Google Home. And once you sign in, you can see the word unlink below it, and again, you can choose it as your default music player whenever you give the Google Home device a command. Next, we have Spotify, which is definitely one of the most popular ones out there. And you need to link that to your account as well. So you can use your Gmail account to link it, but if you have another account, you can click on that and log into it by authorizing the account. And most people use Facebook or Apple to do that. And if you use Facebook, this is what it looks like. And back to the music service, you can see Spotify is there, but if you want to make it your default command, just press on the dot beside it, and now that's your default music player. Now Deezer is also pretty good, but it requires a subscription, which I didn't sign up for, but you can link your account the same way. There's one other service that you can sign up for. If you hit the little X at the top and go down to where it says radio, you can then sign up for Sirius XM. And this used to be a service that people put the antenna on their car and they can listen to commercial free radio or even talk show hosts like Howard Stern used to be on there. So next, what I'm gonna do is give you guys an example of using the free version of Spotify. So let's see what happens. Hey Google, play The Weeknd, Blinding Lights. Choosing songs is only available to Spotify premium subscribers, but try this Spotify Blinding Light station. So as you can see, instead of playing a song that I wanted, it only chose a playlist based off the song that I asked for. But there's a few other things you can do like controls. So let me show you that. Go to the next track. And I do notice that all the different controls are gone because not paying for the service, I can't go to the next track or previous track after you do it six times. So at this point, you should have a better understanding how the built-in music services work. But let's try a few other commands. Hey Google, play NPR. All right, here's KPBS Radio on NPR. KPBS On Demand is made possible by HES Solar. And if you know which radio station you want to listen to, you can also control iHeartRadio. Hey Google, play, 
Play 93.3 on iHeartRadio. Sure, here's channel 93 to 3 on iHeartRadio. <laughs> and did you know that it actually can pull up just about any podcast? For example, MKBHD has a podcast. Let's see if we can pull up his. Play Waveform Podcast. All right, here's where you stopped in Waveform, the MKBHD podcast, Motorola's new flagship, and a hands-on review of the OnePlus 8 and iPhone SE. Okay, well, so I guess... And if you're a big sports person, you can also listen to ESPN. So let me show you how you can do it with TuneIn Radio. Play ESPN on TuneIn Radio. All right, here's ESPN LA 710 on TuneIn. As well as I thought it was going to go. And if you have the newer second version of Google Nest Mini, you can play and pause just by touching the center right here. So I hope after watching this video, you guys have a better understanding on how to use your Google Music services. So go out there and have a little bit of fun. And what I'll do in the description below is leave a link to the Google official website so you can see all the functionality of it, see how to change tracks with your particular music player. I'm Texty. Be sure you go ahead and give me a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and I'll see you guys on my next video. Peace.